Correct. Now let's come back and see one more question in your ammonia. Very important question this is. Let's read. What do they give us? Why does ammonia act as a Lewis base or a complexing agent? Very quite commonly or frequently asked question. So and how, or it can be also be asked as in this way. How does ammonia react with Cu plus 2 or Ag plus? Or it can also be uh, asked as how can, how can uh, transition metals these two are transition metals isn't it how can transition metals be detected with ammonia any question is the same all are the same answers let's write so basically we very well know why does ammonia act as a Lewis base so whenever we see its structure ammonia with its configuration as I've told you already it is 1s2 2s2 2p3 n is equal to 2 subshell you have 3 valence electrons so nitrogen which hydrogen is going to form it's going to share those 3 electrons and the leftover two electrons, this is where it's placed. Because of this donation of lone pair of electrons, ammonia is called as a Lewis base. Done. Now I have to prove it as a complexing agent. So now what happens? Now suppose if I have to find out copper or identify. Now copper is a transition metal. What is the color of this? This is blue, isn't it? Right. So this complexing or this copper, which is a transition metal atom, if I have to identify its presence, I am going to add ammonia to this. Let us uh, uh, pick up, suppose I am taking 4 moles of ammonia. Then what does it do? Be, uh, ammonia being a Lewis acid, uh, sorry, being a Lewis base, what does it do? This is going to donate that lone pair of electron to copper. When it's donating a lone pair of electron to copper, nothing but the ligand, isn't it? We have studied in coordination chemistry. This is the central metal atom and this is the ligand. This together form an ion called complex ion. Complex ion. So put a square bracket in this way. You're going to write <coughs> your copper, Cu, metal atom always first. Your ammonia in the closed brackets. How many ammonia I took? I took four. What is the charge of copper? Overall charge is plus 2. So isn't it forming a complex ion? That is what they ask, complexing agent. Right? How do you write? Tetraamine copper 2 complex. Done? Or, uh, like because this is uh, a neutral ligand, copper 2 complex. Done. What is the color of this? This is deep blue in nature. So this is how you are going to or you are going to find out the presence of transition metal ions with the formation of this. Whenever it forms a deep blue coloration from blue to deep blue, I can identify that, okay, copper is present in the given uh, sample or given uh, compound. Let's come back and to the second part. They've given us two parts. First, I found out for copper and let us find out for silver. So, whenever I have to find out for silver, basically, what is the color of that? This ion, it's colorless. Now, I'm going to add Cl- minus aqua solution. Now this is going to form a white precipitate. No, I'll tell you why I have you why have you used this. Now that silver chloride, we are going to allow it to react with ammonia with which I'm going to detect. Now this ammonia has a lone pair of electron. This silver requires a pair of electron. So this is going to shift to silver. Then together they form a complex compound or the complex ion. How does it form? Take the square brackets. Your metal atom first silver. The ligand is taken in, so two times. This chloride, right? So now if I have to take, let's take two here. Oh, done. This is two. This is also two. Done. Silver. Now what happens in this particular complex? This is your ionizable ion. Now this whole complex when detected, the color of the complex. Now this is also white right now this becomes uh, this is again colorless now what is the difference from colorless it has become white that white colored precipitate i have taken and i've uh, that once it forms a colorless or once it forms a coordinate complex it again turns colorless so earlier in copper what did we see blue to deep blue that indicates the presence of copper here 
the uh, this one uh, the complex from white it is going to turn to colorless this shows or this indicates the presence of co or presence of formation of complexing ion so this is going this is how your ammonia will act as a complexing agent or this is going to act as a lewis base or this is how we it is used to detect copper or silver or it can be used to detect transition all the three equations are same you have to write the reactions